Oh, here we go. Here's your meat. Um, okay, meat, meat, meat. All right, let's try it. Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to be super smart. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? How's it going today? Zach Blake here. Today, we are back in Granny 1.5, the updated version. And you're probably staring at the screen right now going, where is he? What is he looking at? And so we are we are standing here. We're looking right at a painting. We're just at the painting right here. I don't even know that you can get that close up and it'll still look that detailed. That's pretty cool. Nevertheless, I wanted to see today a special thing. It's a little bit new. I wanted to see how many ways we can defeat Granny's Pet Spider. All right, so in order to defeat Granny's Pet Spider, we have to come up with a plan. Now, In I guess we can come up with a little mini story here today. So Granny is gone. We are in practice mode. We can say that Granny captured us and made us, you know, take care of her evil pet that just keeps biting us and, and killing us so she left for vacation was like Haha, well um you know he can take care of my pet spider or the vice versa like my pet spider can keep him inside you know and so it says i'll be back soon and so what we have to do is figure out how to get rid of that pet spider and i think there's a different way to do it and i wanted to see all the ways we can do it now i know that we can probably get the shotgun built and i think we can probably like shoot it with the shotgun i also think tranquilizer but, because before, you can kind of defeat, you know, Granny's pet spider with, um, what is it? With the, uh, meat. And you take the meat and you put it on the side of the room. You just walk right past it, walk out. And that's kind of how you just defeat that whole puzzle. But if we get this whole together, we can, like, defeat the spider. Now, that spider has been the bane of our existence because... It just attacks you. You go up there. I think I was, like, I was super scared. We just played a Spider-Man mod, and it was insane. And you know what we could do that today? We could go into the Spider-Man mod and, like, defeat the Spider-Man giant version of the spider. It's like our final boss. And so we can use our methods that we learned here today. So I think I want to test a couple of them. I want to try the shotgun. I want to try the tranquilizer. I want to see if you can shoot it with the shotgun and then shoot it with the tranquilizer. And then we can shoot the, um, the button with both of those, and I think that'll work. So, let's try both of that. Um, we'll see. So the cool thing is, is that that spider is probably going to be crazy in some new updates. She's probably going to add more to the spider, and, you know, like, it's going to be part of the story, probably. So, I don't know what developer is planning, right? So, uh, maybe, maybe they'll do something with that? Not sure. It was crazy. Just literally within, like, two minutes, we've already have half the shotgun put together. This is insane! <laughs> I don't know, everybody likes the beatbox, and I've tried to, like, you know, teach you how to beatbox, because I've done before, like, uh, prune dip, croon dip. That's what I said, it's weird, but it's prune dip, prune dip, prune dip. And then I said, like, uh, something with cow, like, cow, 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 cow. And, um, if you want to do, like, you know, uh, a record scratching, you can go, like, you just literally say a word called, and you just, I don't know, it works. I like there's a lot to beatboxing and I feel like everybody can do it. Oh, special K! We can go right up to the spider already. Um but yeah, I mean I don't think, I don't think we have to do that now cuz that spider is scary. We can give it a look, you know? We can look it down, you know, give it a stink eye and um tell it what's coming. So, let's actually look up here. What do we got? Is he is he still up there? Yeah, there there he is. There's a little little guy, hey Rex. Hey. I'm gonna get you. Just walk over to Lilith. No, no, I know you're. I know you're gonna get me. I have plans to defeat you. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I want to see you defeat me. I don't think you can, dude. I'm literally looking at the button right now. Like that's how I defeat. Oh, you. Oh yeah, really? Go press the button. No. Why? You too scared? Well, I mean, yeah. I don't want to press the button. I mean, I'm a talking spider right now. I mean, <laughs> what are you scared of? I'm, I'm, I'm innocent. Look, I'll, I'm not. I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking at the, the plate. Go, go. I'm gonna go to the plate. I'm not touching the button. I know you're gonna attack me. Ooh, you're a chicken. I'm not a chicken, okay? I just don't want to get hurt. No, I, I think you're a chicken. If you walk downstairs, you're a big old chicken. Ah! All right, I'll press the button. Look. Oh, I can't press the... Okay. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> okay, okay. Spider, we're going to defeat him. We are, it's our mission now. Okay, yeah, but we're going to try that out. We're gonna, we already got the shotgun almost completed. We could probably do that, and then we probably have to restart. I don't know if the... Uh, what is it? If if the spider gets reset every single time... Oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, is the door locked? No! Okay, so we have to find that last piece to the shotgun. Oh, and we got some meat, too. That's gonna be so easy. Um, maybe we can use the meat as a distraction. You're like, oh, we're on your side, buddy. And then we, he just goes around. We're like, ah, gotcha! Okay, so we're gonna put the meat in a drawer. It'll get all rotten. Oh, no, it can't... Oh, I guess I just throw it into my face. Like, I go... Okay, so we're gonna need to figure out where, um, I think it's over here. It's just the barrel of the shotgun we need. 
And that is it. All right, so we got the shotgun now. And we can use the meat as kind of a distraction. Now, I think the shotgun um, can stay loaded while the tranquilizer can't. So the tranquilizer is going to be harder. But we might as well just use the meat as a distraction for the first time we're going to try this. Because we don't even know if this is going to work. Um, yeah, so I think if I drop this, this is going to still stay loaded, right? Yeah, it still says it's loaded. Um, yeah, and with the tranquilizer, I think it unloads. Because if you drop it, the tranquilizer dart falls out. So it's going to be harder with the tranquilizer. But that could be, you know, step two. Level two. Try it without using the meat. So I'll bring the shotgun up there. And then I'll bring the meat up there. And we'll see if this defeats him. All right, buddy. You're in for a lesson. Let's set it right there. And we'll go down and get that meat. We got the meat here. Hey, Rex. You want some meat? Hey, I, I, I see the shotgun, like, literally right over there. But you want some meat, buddy? We got some meat. Yeah, yeah. I want some meat, but... I'm gonna get you. Oh, you think you are? Okay, come here, buddy. No, stop, stop talking to me like that. Oh, here we go. Here's your meat. Um, okay, meat, meat, meat. All right, let's try it. Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna be super sure. It worked, okay. So yeah, oh, he still ate the meat. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know if he comes back or not, but yeah, shotgun works. I think you could just eliminate him now. Um, I mean, we did use two items though. So could there be a way in the main game that we could just take him out with all, not having to use meat and we can come up here anytime we want. Now let's go test. Um, if we drop down from this level, does he reset? So let's see. We're gonna, oh no, we died. And then we're going to go and see if he's still there. If he is, then we'll try the tranquilizer method, right? All right, so we're waking up on day three. Granny's not home. She's on vacation. We've we've destroyed her pet. Does this mean that her pet is still there? That is going to be the test of here today, Johnny. So let's go. We got to go fast. We got to see. I want to know. I want to know if it's still there. Like, is this like a one-off thing? Like, does it go away and then come back? That'll be kind of like the answer. Because Granny comes back after two minutes. Does her pet spider come back? And no. So he's gone for good. Now, if we make him sleep with a tranquilizer, is that the same thing? Okay, and then also this button that we can't use. Um, yeah, let's actually... We gotta restart it. Um, and then we'll go try the tranquilizer. And then we'll go into the final boss form. Alright, so it's day one now. The spider doesn't know at all what's going on. Rex... You're not gonna know what's coming. And Granny's still out of town. We've refreshed everything. It's kind of like we went back in time. This is gonna be nice. So now we can have... We have to go find everything again. But, um... We're just gonna try the tranquilizer. So I think all we need... Hey, we got the meat there too. That is nice. We don't even need that. We're gonna be pro. We're gonna try it without the meat. I don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough. But yeah, it'll be cool. Alright, so I think I've loaded into a version... That's the same rotation. So all of the items are kind of in the same place. Look, because we found the playoffs key first. And now we can go and we can get all the things that we need. This is going to be way easy. I don't think Rex is figuring things out yet. All right, so we're bringing in the handle. And I think this is going to bring up the next wheel. Hopefully this will bring our tranquilizer key. So uh, I don't know if there's any other way other than the weapons, right? So we have the tranquilizer. We have the shotgun. Could there be another method to stopping him? Could we glitch him somehow? Now, that would mean, like, putting a box between us. Could we bring one of the boxes up there? I don't think that would work, but that is something that we could try, right? Because I think he'd probably just get you through the box, kind of like Granny does. All right, so I already got the car key right now. Imagine, that, like, the okay, if we had the speed to run away from the, uh, the, the spider, and what if he chased us all the way down here, and we were running and running and running, and he ended up just following us to the car? And then we escaped immediately, and he jumped, you know, to get under the car. And we escaped as he was riding with us. That would be insane. What if that was an Easter egg they added? Like, if somehow you can find something to, like, you know, run away, and you're at the perfect distance away that you could just run at a certain speed. And then all of a sudden you can escape, and he can chase after you. And she's like, no! He's escaping! No! My pet spider! <laughs> all right, so nevertheless, let's go open this car up. No, it's just a watermelon. I want to get the weapon key. I mean, I'm getting all the stuff I need for everything else, but maybe the weapon key will be in here. If not, I don't know what else would be. By the way, who keeps a watermelon in the back of a rusty car in a hot garage? This thing is probably so hot. Who wants to eat a warm melon? All right, come on. Oh, it's a spark plug. Where is this? Where is this weapon key? I think we might need to build the shotgun 
to then knock off the the screwdriver to then find the weapon key to then get the tranquilizer it, it is like a level two so tranquilizer is level two for our mission this is literally like our own little quest to destroy granny's pet spider all right so we're about to build the shotgun for the second time but this time we're using it to defeat the puzzle that is knocking the screwdriver off of the top shelf like literally if we were tall like in our other mods um we would just be able to just grab it off but Let's see if I can do it from down here. Or, like, literally just right here. Can I do it? Like, boop. Yeah, I can. All right. Nice. So, we got this screwdriver, if it'll let me pick it up. And now, uh, where is it? It is right over here. And please, let there be the weapon key in there. Boom. As he unlocks the top screw, he looks down. Sweat gleaming across his face. do 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 it is not! It is the safe key! No! There's so many keys to get to this tranquilizer! I wanted to test my hypothesis! Hypothesis! Alright, now what do you have? The pair of pliers! Why? This is probably not even the same- Okay, where could it be then? Like, how many more possibilities do I have? Like, okay. So if I cut- If I cut the top- I think there's a wrench up there. There's no other way I can use this to get something. So we have to find the key. What if it was just sitting somewhere? Hey, look. Oh, boy. Now I have wrench. I will wrench open door. Boop. Boop. And I can knock it down. There we go. I don't know where the weapon key is. Now, I maybe I have to restart and, like, literally just keep going until I find it in the first part. Alright, so I started up a new game. Um, everything is in a different spot, so that's good. Um, let's open up this melon and see what's inside. Please, weapon key. Oh, uh -huh. no, it's a padlock key. Come on, give me the good stuff. Why is everybody, why is everybody keeping stuff from me? Finally, finally, okay, we found the weapon key. Um, this is what we need right there. Nice. So all we have to do is literally walk right here. Boom. This is going to be nice and sweet, but now we need the special key. Which is not good because uh, that is going to be a lot of looking to just get that key. I just want to know where the special key is now. Oh, we found the special key. Nice. I was like, hey, I found the safe key. What does the safe key open up to? We'll go and open the top room. We'll see Rex. He'll be like, oh, I'm going to get you. But he can't because now we have the tranquilizer. I'm not going to use the meat. And we'll see if we can do that without the meat because then it'll make it possible. We'll be like, okay, you can do that easily. It's fine. But then if it doesn't work and it's like, whoa, he's way too fast, then we'll just get the meat and we'll use that as a distraction. Boom, I got my tranquilizer ready and I'm ready to go run up there and uh, see if I can make him fall asleep. We'll have happy fun sleep time for Rex there. And we'll see if maybe, if you can make him sleep, can you make him your friend, right? So let's see, can we even do it without failing? Okay, I, I've got to get really precise for this. Boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. You gotta be very, very precise here. And he's gonna be fast, so let's see. And... It didn't work! I hit him. I hit him straight on. There's no way. There is no way! Ooh. Ooh! We gotta see. Okay, so if, if we use the meat, is it possible? Or is the tranquilizer dart like... He's like, no, I am unaffected by your tranquilizer dart, you know? So, I mean, I guess that's a myth busted, at least for shooting it head on. Because I, I literally hit him. I mean, unless I missed him barely... Which, I, I don't know. I don't know. That was really weird. We're gonna bring him this meat and use it as a distraction. We're like, here, here is some meat to use as an offering to shoot you in the back and make you fall asleep. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But, yes, uh, we are going to use this. Okay. Oh, where's our dart, though? Ooh, we need another dart. Okay, so we'll drop that. Where'd that go? No. Oh, wait. No, there's the dart. There's the dart. Oh, the meat's right there. Okay. Get this. And we'll get... Oh, wait. If it drops, though, it's unloaded. Right? Oh, now where's the dart drop? Where does the dart drop? Uh, oh my gosh! How did the dart get all the way over there? That is... Okay. Um, That's very unfortunate. Now we gotta get a new dart. Hopefully when we drop it this next time, there's gonna be another dart there right next to it so we can try it. I feel like this is the hardest method because the shotgun drops and it's still loaded. But the tranquilizer dart is like... Pfft. You know, whoa, no, you shot the, the thing and now it's everywhere. So let's see, um, does this work? Now, I'm gonna drop it kind of on the stairs because there's no way for it to, like, shoot out. So let's see, if I drop it right there. Okay, we kind of, oh, no, 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 no. Don't go all the way over there. 
No, hold on there, buddy. Tranquilize your dart. No, no. All right, we'll drop it right there. Oh, is that perfect? Oh, don't bounce too much. All right, that's kind of good. Let's see if this works. We got to be safe. Got to be safe. Let's go. Boom. Okay, he's going to go get his thing. Let us shoot it now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And it just bounces right off of him. No, 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 no. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No. I couldn't even pick it up in time. So tranquilizer dart does not work. All right, so I just loaded up the mod. We found out that the spider does not care about tranquilizers because it has an exoskeleton. It has a super, you know, hard back. And now we're going into the mod that we did yesterday, the Spider-Man Granny mod. And we're going out on practice mode because I wanted to see a giant spider. And now I wanted to fight the final boss with the one method we do know. And actually, you know what we could do? If we find the key, um, we can use the tranquilizer. And the tranquilizer can be really easy if all we do, we all we need to do is to shoot the button, right? Rex will not be able to defeat us if we just shoot a button. Wow! And we immediately found the weapon key! It's like, it's fate has aligned, you know? This is what we need to do. It sounds like, it sounds like a final boss music. All right, so here we are headed up. Oh, we do not have, we do not even have the special key for this yet. So all we need to do is get the special key now, which should be easier. Um, and then we'll go up and defeat the final boss by only pushing a button. So I found the um, special key very quick. It is like all of the stars aligned and we're ready to go. Now, let's do this. Um, let's get the crossbow. All we gotta do is one thing. This is so nice. Jeez, that is a beefy spider. Hey, Rex. Hey there. You, <laughs> you've come back. I'm bigger. Yeah, you may be bigger, but uh, we have we have a very easy way to stop you. Oh yeah, and what is that? It's literally just this. So, boop. There, there we go. The end. Oh my gosh, and he actually disappeared too. No! Okay, wait, if we push the button... <laughs> I'm sorry there, Rex, I just wanted to prove a point. I mean, we technically defeated him. And we, <laughs> What are we gonna do now? Can we undo the button, though? Like, if I press it, will it open? Oh no! No, he's stuck in there forever! Rex! I'm actually fine in here. It sent me to a new dimension. There's meat everywhere! Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, I think we just... Kind of saved him. He's going to be a big spider eating some meat. And he's going to have some fun. Yeah, so, I mean, we kind of did all the methods we could. We pressed the button. We tried the tranquilizer. Tranquilizer didn't work, but the shotgun worked. So two of the three methods worked. That is cool. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope that helps you on your mission to play Granny. Because I was actually scared when I came here the first time. I was like, whoa. And even when I played the Spider-Man mod, if you didn't see that, you got to check that out. Because when I first saw that, I was like, whoa. So... Um, thank you guys for all the support. You guys are so amazing. Hopefully I made you smile because that's all I want to do. You know, if you're ever feeling bad, you can just come onto the channel and be like, I want to smile, you know? Let's go to Dak Blake. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. But if you've already subscribed, click the notification bell to become part of the notification squad. That was so fast, but basically just join and subscribe. And if you click the notification bell, you'll become part of the notification squad. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out,